Welcome, welcome, welcome once again. Well, um, most, as most of you know, I am from Trinidad, I'm Trinidadian, and today's dish is called is alu, alu pie. Now, we have a lot of um, Indian culture in Trinidad, and this recipe basically is from that Indian culture, alu pie. And now, the, it's basically like a fried dough with a potato filling, and that potato is called the, the alu. So let's get to see how it's done. All right, for this recipe, is, it contains two parts, the flour part and the filling. The flour part, this is the ingredients for the flour part, that is the, the dough, really. I have one cup of water here, two cups of flour, regular flour. I have one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna put these in my bowl and start to mix. So here's my bowl, I'm gonna add the two cups of flour. One teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and then I will start to mix. Just mixing all the dry ingredients first. And then we will add in the water. Gradually adding the water, mixing dry ingredients into it. So I'm continuing the process until I use up all the water and the dough is nicely mixed in. Here are my ingredients and blended in. My dough is nice and full together here now. I like to use both hands, but as I'm recording, the camera is close to my hands. If I use both hands, I'll just knock on everything. And you'll also see my left hand in front of the camera will block with what I'm doing here. So I basically have to use one hand to knead my dough. So let's just rest for a little while, and I'll do the other part of this recipe. It's the potato part, or so we call it the alu. Okay, so now we're going to go to the, make the filling part of this recipe. We have uh, three, three and a half potatoes, because this is a small potato, right? And a teaspoon of, of pepper sauce, teaspoon of, um, this is blended herbs I have here, onion, garlic, I have some basil, some thyme, uh, um, some herbs in here. Um, this is a quarter teaspoon of, of um, jeera, half teaspoon of salt, and three garlic cloves. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to peel the potato and put them to boil. Okay, I already peeled my potatoes, so I'm going to just basically dice them because before I put them to boil, because the smaller they, they cut them up, they're going to cook faster. Just cut them into small pieces, nothing fancy. To this, I'm going to add the three garlic cloves. Putting the garlic cloves to boil at this point will help to soften them. So, uh, when I mash the potato, make them nice and smooth, the garlic will be blended into it. I'm also going to add the salt. So, I'm going to add the salt now. Half teaspoon of salt and three garlic cloves. I'm going to add up two cups of water, should do it. I'm going to put this to boil and let the um, potato cook and get nice and soft. Okay, so while the potato is boiling, I'm going to knead over the flour, let it spoot up a bit. This is after about 15 minutes. It's a little difficult with one hand, but you should get the idea. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to separate them into small balls. Right, that should do it. 
So next I'm going to make them into balls. Put them in a plate. So we got let's see seven pieces of seven balls that we can make seven of the pies with. I'm gonna sprinkle this with a little bit of flour. I need that for a little while while the um potato is boiling. Okay, my potato is nice and tender. So the next step will be to mash it. Use a potato mash and mash it like this. I'm also going to add the other ingredients right now. The jira, the blended hoops, pepper sauce, and potato mash this up. Remember initially I put salt, I put the salt in here, but I'll still taste to see if I have sufficient salt. This is our filling right here. This is aloo of the aloo pie. There's a garlic there. I need to mash up a bit. Now it, it, it didn't cook, it took about 15 minutes to, to cook under a high heat and now the smell of this jira it smells so good all right so let's get the next step of putting the dough part and the alu together okay let's get to the fun part now remember i forgot to mention you need to have a little bit of flour this side to help um, roll out the, the, the flour balls so I'll start with one, just give an example. I dusted a little bit of flour already. So if you find like it goes a little sticky, just add a little flour to it. Just use your hands like this and kind of like flatten it out. Flatten out the balls. Use your thumb to kind of spread out the center. Or you can use a rolling pin if you don't feel like doing this. Kind of flatten it out like that. Next we're going to do is take a tablespoon of the potato, of the aloo. Put it to the center of our dough here like this. This is my... And then stretch the dough. So I'm basically making an aloo bowl right here, right now. See that there? Just pinch it up. I have a little aloo bowl right there. So I think let me do one more. Have my bowl here, a little bit of flour to the back. Keep on stretching. Again, like I said, if you feel more comfortable using a roller pin, go right ahead. You just make it work for you. Stretch all the dough. Add a tablespoon of the aloo mixture, put it in the center, and just fold it over it like that. Stretch it. So I continue to do the rest, and um, I'll be back. okay so on to some more fun stuff so after we have filled the dough with the alu and make alu balls we have to shape them into like alu pie shapes right so dip in a bit of flour again so you see i already have done one here this is the end result so you kind of like gently kind of get the shape the ball elongated like this now you don't want to apply too much pressure because you don't want to, to 
the aloe to squeeze out. Just press it on like this, gently. And basically that's what we're looking for here. So right now you see I have a little piece that is peeping out. I just pinch out a bit. That was a piece of the aloe that was peeping out there. So I'm going to put some oil in a pot to hot, about maybe two cups of oil, and put these babies to fry. Okay, here's my pot. It's a, I only have about one and a half cup of oil that I put in the hot. I think that should be enough. So I'm going to put these babies to fry. Okay, they're getting nice and golden brown on each side, so as long as I'm satisfied, I'm going to move them from the pot. I'm going to put another one right now because I have space here in the pot. I got a well. It shouldn't take that long, but let's say about five minutes for each one of them to, to cook, to fry properly. Okay, folks, here are my beautiful aloo pies. I made a little cucumber chutney to serve it with. That's another recipe, so look out for it. So let me open one of my aloo pies. It's still hot a bit. Lovely, look at that. See the aloe in there? I see potato. Mm -mm -mm. So if you want, you could like, you know, put some of the, the cucumber chutney in there and take a bite and eat and enjoy. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,